questions of the committee, why be sure and be around out there at that time so that we can start that part of the of the hearing. Next opponent, please. Good afternoon. To all respected um, government reps, elders, parents, and our future children of this society. My name is Gwana Hall, one who speaks a word. Jackie Nicholas is my English name. I'm here to speak on medical marijuana. This medicine, amongst a thousand or more given to us by the Creator, has been here for centuries. During this recession that this nation is going through, it is no time to close our ears and turn our heads on this issue of medical marijuana, the very cure that could bring us out of recession and back to good health, another stepping stone in our society that is here now. Our people federally recognized we vote our representatives in, but when we go to them, their hands are tied. But yet, we share our medicines. For centuries, we've done this. Excuse me. I'm part of the Iroquois Nation. The Tuscaroras have been hemp keepers for centuries. This medicine was not distributed on Friday nights and said, here, let's everybody party. One man, a medicine man, <coughs> distributed and used this medicine. The children didn't know about it. Some of the people of the tribe didn't even know they existed. But yet, we're so quick to judge the society and give our children Ritalin starting at kindergarten. And we wonder why the high school dropout is so high. Because when they reach a certain age, these children of Ritalin recognized with ADD, ADHD, guess what, they're cut off. And then what do they do? They seek street drugs. You see a crack heroin addict on the street looking for Ritalin to help them with their addiction. If that Ritalin helps an addicted heroin addict, imagine what it does to your children. But yet, I am not disputing the fact that yes, we need more guidelines. Yes, we need to look into this more. Yes, there are problems. But re realize it or not, these problems have been in existence for many decades. Alcohol at one time was moonshine. It wasn't legal, but yet now look at today, it's our number one sales. We have rehab centers, we have medical professionals that all in this life circle are there. This medical marijuana could profit all of us. And to get in this country and this nation and this state back to health, you want to state the crime rates? On our own news station, it stated within the past year, the crime rate of drunk driving, alcohol, stated issues or related issues has dropped 42% within the past year. Can anyone make the connection that maybe because of this medical marijuana being in existence within the past year or two? that it's helping some of those out there? Yes, just like anything else, there are people that's ready to abuse anything. But yes, we do need medical marijuana. I am a medical card holder. I have no heel in my left foot. I've had three surgeries. I have chronic back pain, leg pain, every day. But yet, I can't sit there and take four prescribed lower tabs a day and then jump behind the wheel of a car? Or can I go drink three shots of whiskey or brandy just to deaden that pain just so I can feel comfortable and have a good night's sleep? There's some of those here now, nieces and nephews, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Have you ever given them a binky, a soother, a sucker, a bottle? and then take it away from them, what was their reaction? They're very upset, right? What will we do to this state? 
if we now take away the medical marijuana, are we prepared to deal with that outcome? Instead of using our money to get professionals in here, do you realize what doors this could open for all? We could have educators, teachers, horticulturists, professionals of all sorts. We're not only talking receptionists, accountants, chemists, doctors, lawyers, marketers. The, the, the profits is endless. But the biggest profit is a healthy environment and healthy people from medicine that has been here for centuries. My people's graves are marked more with alcohol, prescribed drugs, meth use. I don't see many marked with marijuana at all. Thank you very much. Thank you. And before you leave, I, would you clarify your name in case we want to call you back for questions? I didn't understand okay. it. My Oneida given name is Gwanaha. My English name is Jacqueline Nicholas. Nicholas. Thank you. Thank you.